the Hard Work Works Fitness app. Overcome the holiday weight gain and get on track with your own personal trainer right at your fingertips. The Hard Work Works Fitness app works for all ability levels. Full gym, no gym, no problem. So what's included? You get over 200 workout plans available for every situation from a full gym to no equipment at all. You also get access to a nutrition guide to keep you on track during the holiday season. All this for only $10 a month. There's a special offer for Gear Freaks listeners. Use promo code STUPID. STUPID? STUPID. And get December free. The Hard Work Works Fitness app. Decide, commit, succeed, and join the hustle today. The only thing I can cheer for in Philadelphia is the national anthem. That's Bill Belichick. I'm Justin, jersey number 14. Fuck Bill Belichick. And I'm Corey, jersey number 72. Welcome to a very, very, very dear to my heart episode of the Gear Freaks podcast. Joining us today, we've explored a lot of puck here, Justin. Lots. Today, we get to cover the orange and black. Joining us today is, uh, you can find him on YouTube at uh, Flyers Fan Mania 93, co-host of the Flyers or excuse me, Flyered Up Podcast. Chris Mayer joins us today on the pod. Chris, how you doing tonight, brother? What's up, fellas? Uh, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. I know that you're happy here, Corey, because <laughs> so far we've covered the Isles, who you're still sore over when we co- when we when we talked about them. Yep. We covered my t- my baseball team, the New York Mets, <laughs> and we covered the Caps. We both are kind of indifferent on. Right. But this one this one's got to hit a, a little close to home. It does. It does. And this is this is this is one B for me. The Birds are one A. The Flyers have always been a very close one B. So this is like for the first one that we've done to tickle my taint. This is as good as it can get, man. <laughs> I am pumped to talk Flyers, especially because this is this is a year, Chris, that I was talking to Justin before we came on, man. Do you I, – I, you know you know the Flyers better than I do, man. It, it, when was the last time – do you remember a time where we were – there was expectations like this coming into the season? That there's a possibility of maybe going to the Stanley Cup? I mean, honestly, I, I have to say it's probably late 90s, early 2000s, if anything. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I can't write. I, I mean, the last 10 years, hell no. Um, but I think <laughs> overall, I think it's probably the best, uh, I would assume, expectation that uh, everybody's got for them. I mean, honestly, if you think about it, last year, they uh, most people had them anywhere from, you know, six to eighth in the, in the Metro. And, you know, they, they finished in second. And with the way they were playing, they probably could have finished in first if they didn't have the shutdown. So, right. Um, again, I feel like there's always that, that narrative that, you know, because it's Philly, everybody will root against them, and I think that I think that kind of goes against all four teams, honestly. Um, and obviously, we've seen that with the Eagles and the Super Bowl and things like that. But but overall, I, I feel like it's it's been a while since we've had that uh, that kind of feeling that like you feel really good, um, you know, just coming into this Flyer season. Yeah, it does, man. It's it's I'm I'm super pumped up. I've never in my life since I've lived here had the 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 center ice package, and I I convinced the wife to let's go ahead and do it this year. So it's the first time in a long time I'm going to have access to every Flyers game, and what better year to be able to do it? I right, so for for just the benefit of our listeners, just if you could briefly or as deep as you like, just dive into uh, your fandom of the Flyers, how you became a fan of the team, and so forth. All right. So, uh, I, honestly, I guess just to start off, um, I became a fan in the, lock, the last lockout. So it was 2012-13. Uh, uh, um, it was kind of one of the worst years to get into it because it was a shortened season and the fires were horrible that year. <laughs> um, they were coming off a, a really good season. Uh, they had a lot of guys leave, obviously, Bronger with the injury. Um, you know, uh, They had Yager leave and things like that. So they were kind of old and injured and, and, and you know at that time. Um, and that was kind of when I became a fan. Uh, and it was kind of like that time where, like, where they were tooling, were they rebuilding? It was kind of like the mix with the management and obviously we're Hexall and things like that. So um, I became a fan kind of just through one of my uh, friends from grade school um, at the time. And he was a big Flyers fan. And we ended up watching just a random game together. And I fell in love with it. Uh, and it was late. It was, I think it was actually like middle, late February uh, of that year. So pretty much I watched like the rest of that season. And then from there, I was really hooked. 
Um, and then, you know, I've been doing YouTube since I've had the channel since 2014, but I haven't actually like posted consistently. Um, you know, since that time I actually started like consistently and probably last season was like most consistent, but I did a little bit in 17, 18 season, a little bit of the 18, 19 season also. So pretty much since like my freshman year of high school, um, was pretty much when I was doing like most of the, you know, that was kind of when I did a little bit, then you know, these the past two years. Uh, my junior year and now my senior year this year is when I'm going to be doing most stuff. Um, and then, as you mentioned with the podcast, too, uh, we, we started doing that going into the 2019-20 season. Um, so that's kind of how I, like, became a fan and started doing all this stuff, uh, you know, and that was just, like, with the team and everything. I got you. I got you. And so, and that's what I was – because – you know, you know your stuff, man, and I come to you for a lot of my Flyers content, to be honest with you, man, and, and you know, you know your shit, which is why we wanted to bring you on. I've noticed, though, and, and you're you're the first, you and Amadeo both, uh, your co-hosts on the Flyered Up podcast, you guys are fortunate enough to have, to kind of bring it to the gear uh, side of the spectrum. You've got your hands on the reverse retros already. You own one. Oh, and I am dude. Uh, I'm hella jealous, man. How good does it feel? Uh, two prong question: A, how good does it feel to rock one of those? B, when they first came out, what's your thoughts? So, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with B first. So, my my thoughts on it were: I actually liked it since the leak. And if you remember when the leak came out, it was the Flyers and the Penguins one it was like one of the first ones. Mm-hmm. And then there was a couple uh, that came out after. I think Anaheim and I believe Vegas. Um, was were two were the two next ones to come out, and then a bunch of them got leaked and things like that, and then they had like the full, you know, the that the, the whole full reveal of them. Um, I personally liked it because overall, I always liked the burnt orange jersey they had, um, and I feel like that kind of goes back similar to the colors. I hate the orange they have now. Great, um, I, I absolutely can't stand it. I wish they go back to the the, the, the burnt one, the darker one. Um, but overall, I mean, I personally liked it from the beginning. I thought it was different. Um, I honestly thought the full uniform would look great. Uh, I, I actually kind of brought up an idea with them, like maybe they go with something kind of like a uh, an old pad equipment thing where they have like a maybe like a Bauer, like Joe for like team helmet or, or like gloves or something like that. Right. So something to bring you more revenue since that's one of the main keys of the season is revenue because they're really obviously losing money. Right. So overall, I mean, I personally love them. I like a lot of the teams, to be honest, but overall, I love the, the Flyers one. Um, and honestly, that thing. He's so comfortable. It's not even funny. I mean, that was the first <laughs> Adidas jersey I've had. I mean, I, I only, I'm not a big jersey guy. I know I've said that before, um, you know, and that was just like on the, on, on my podcast and things like that. Um, I, I only have a handful, and that was one of the first. That was actually that was the first Adidas one that I had. Um, most of the other ones I had were either Reebok or, the, or they were just fake ones. Um, but overall, I, I love it. I think it's comfortable, um, it, and, and it's cool too because it's, you know how like it's got like. You know how like most of the fake ones have like the strings and stuff like all the Adidas ones just have like that curved neck where like it, yeah. you don't get anything else like it's just you know perfect it fits perfectly around your neck and it, it's just it, it's great to like if you put it over a hoodie whatever it, it's comfortable um and personally I I I really like it to be honest I I gotta expound on this I think you might be the first non sweater guy I've ever met <laughs> I I gotta yeah, ex- honestly I'm not like listen I like jerseys don't get me wrong I just don't have many. That's the oh, I okay. Like jerseys, I just don't have a lot. That's gotcha. Like- that was me until a couple weeks ago. I got my first sweaters a couple weeks ago. I got me a Marty. Uh, I'm a Devs fan. I got me a Marty, and now I, I'll never look back. <laughs> I am officially sweater guy. So now that you have that reverse retro, and and you say it feels nice, like are you looking at sweaters differently? Like is a sweater on the horizon? Like, and if so, is there a player you're eyeballing? Um, honestly, I'm, I'm really not sure. I haven't really given it much thought because they're a lot of money, honestly. Um, yeah. I think that, that was like around 280, 290. So Oof, you don't have the money steep. to be dropping you know, $300 on a jersey like that. Yeah. But, uh, but honestly, I have looked at some other jerseys. Um, I'm, I honestly think I would most likely, if I were to get some, I would maybe add like custom, you know, add like a custom to like a blank I have or whatever. But, but honestly, I feel like I might revisit them. Um, I know it, since they have that rumor this year for the outdoor game against Boston, if they if they end up having that and they had getting you know new jerseys for that, um, I was honestly thinking that they should do something kind of like a Philadelphia Quakers look. Yeah, which was kind of rumored like uh, in the 2012 Winter Classic. Corey, I'm sure you know this too. Yeah. Um, when they had like the 
it, it was rumored to look like that and then it was completely different yeah i'm kind of hoping they were to do something like that um but overall uh i i honestly don't i'm not really too sure I, now that you guys say that i might have to look at some jerseys after we're done this but uh, <laughs> but overall I, I honestly think uh i i might have to uh, take a look at that in the future well, you hit on something. I think one of the uh, an underrated way to rock a hockey sweater is when I've I've the the Flyers games I've been to, I've always gone hoodie underneath the sweater. Mm. I think I'm that's like- yeah, dude, that is such a good call, man. And I it once you said that, I kind of played back like in my head, like okay, like I don't do it around the house, but I've been to three Flyers games in my life, which I wish was way more, but it's not. Uh, and and each time I've gone sweater over the hoodie, so. With the uh, you know the reverse retro, I know you went Carter Hart, which is a hundred percent the way to go. Uh, is 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 there another? If you were to go favorite jersey, is is there a certain? I know you like the burn orange, and I agree that that is the way to go. But do you prefer even? Do you like the 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 orange better predominantly on the sweater, or do you like the blacks like you know the 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 alternate we have now and that we wore during the Jeremy Roenick eras when they switched to those blacks primarily? Honestly, I, I really don't like the, the alternate jersey they have now. I feel like they should honestly switch it up because I'm so tired of, of them having the black jersey. I feel like it's so boring. Um, it's just black with the with the one orange stripe, and then it's on the bottom, and, and that's it. I, I honestly think they could really like kind of change that up a little bit. Um, honestly, I, I to be honest with you, that reverse retro was one of my favorite jerseys. Um, I know you guys will call me nuts, but I love the, the 3D jersey with the with the silver in the logo do you I really like that. <laughs> um I, I i mean honestly i really don't know why but i just always have i think it's because it's so hideous i like it <laughs> that's probably one of the reasons why i actually have wanted to buy one and i just can't because they're i feel like they're so hard to find because you got to find them on ebay or whatever yeah such a, but but overall i mean i personally i would like them to go with like that that 90s black um, I think that would be cool if they were to switch the black nail to that. That would be disgusting. But uh, <laughs> overall, I, I feel like I honestly really do like that uh, the you know the, the the new reverse retro jersey. It's funny you say because the the awkward years the three D logo one is I think for sure probably the most polarizing among this fan base. And it it's not I don't think it's as ass ugly as a lot of people think it is. But it was I remember when it came out and you kind of looked at it and went oh man because the standard flyer sweater is always you have the stripes on the shoulders it goes down the sleeve. And right. and then they completely switched it up in favor of this <laughs> this this weird ass kind of red or orange and the, the the chromed out logo and the whatever whatever the thing was going down the sleeve. It is it's funny because that's the one that I do not own. That is the only Flyers jersey that we've had that I do not own. And I right. kind of even though it's funny you say because even though I don't really love it, I'd like to own one just to say I've got it. <laughs> Yeah, um, and, and that that's kind of where, what I'm at too. I'm like, I, I I would never wear this out, but if I if I would just want it, yeah, yeah, just to have, just to say, okay, I've owned every because I even own one of the uh, the 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 fiftieth anniversary sweaters. What did you? What, I, I was just gonna say, what are your thoughts on <laughs> on those debacles? I look. I mean, I didn't mind it because I I like that it's white, but the gold is just. Oh, it's it's so bad. It's it's terrible. Um, I it's funny now that you say that. I have to look at it now because I haven't looked at that thing because I purposely don't want to. Yeah, you got to um, shut it out of your head. You have to. Yeah, but I mean, honestly, like I don't mind it because it's white. Um, I honestly did like that it was white, but like, I I hate the gold like the gold trim around the logo. That's terrible. Um, I I, I feel like they could have done a lot better with that. To be honest. Um, I honestly would have just liked them to have their home and away jersey uh, just have like that certain like patch in the middle or something. I don't know. But honestly, overall, I really, I just, oh, I just did not like this one. It's definitely, it's fun. I dislike the 50th anniversaries more than I disliked the, the, the 3D Forsbergs. I, those yeah. are okay, but just it, at least they kind of stayed true to the color scheme for the most part. Having that gold in there, and I get it as 50th anniversary, but it just, it, I don't know, man. It messes with your eyes. You look at it, and you go, what the yeah. hell is this? Especially since gold is, is... I feel like it would be a lot better if it wasn't around the Flyers logo. Yeah, that would make it like even... Yeah. else, it would, be, it would look okay. 
Right, if you just do it in the numbers or, you know, whatever the case may be. I mean, gold is a damn penguin's color. You can't have that in there, man. <laughs> That's you know? blasphemy. <laughs> right. I mean, it's not the exact shade of, of, you know, but still, it just it messes with your eyes. I don't think the base of the sweater itself is bad, but uh, yeah. the gold and is. Honestly, now that I think about it, I think most of the teams that year when they had, like, like the, the original 12, the other six I got out in 67, they had gold on theirs, but, like, Los mm-hmm. Angeles is just so nice. Yes. I mean, they have like a little bit of gold, and, and like it was just, it was nice. That one is good. But like the Flyers one is just terrible. I think that's probably the worst one out of the, out of the six. I agree. And it sucks to say that about your own team, but I agree completely. The Kings did it, and they did it well. This was just, you know, and it, this was what made it even worse was this was right after Ed Snyder died. So it, it you know, and they, they put the patch on the shoulder to honor him. You know, but it's like, oh man, you 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 put the Ed Snyder patch on there to honor him, and you know you love the guy because he's the reason the team exists. But you put the patch on on this shit. Yeah, I know, and, and it's funny because I just looked up Pittsburgh's, and theirs is literally just their home and away with the patch. That could have been something the Flyers could do. Just have the regular home and away, have the patch, and that could have been something too. Like put it on, you know, just like a, usually on the opposite side. Of where like Jeru C would be. Right. Know? Right. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Even that that would have just anything to not mess with your eyes and feel like you needed to adjust your damn TV like the color was off. Um yeah, right. Exactly. So you mentioned uh the the Lake Tahoe game. Is is you know, as it correlates to the winter classics. How did you cause I we did our um our favorite team's favorite gear episode. My favorite uh, flyer sweater of all time. I went with the 2012 Winter Classics. You know, we rocked them as the alternates, I believe, from 2014 to 2016. So yeah, I just I, – it, and there's a lot of stuff that, that we've worn over the years that I like. But if I had to pick one favorite, that would be mine. Where are you at with those? Did you dig them? Did you think they sucked? I love – I have, though. I actually have a board check one. That's one of my – that's my second favorite jersey of all time. <clears throat> um, that was actually one of the first jerseys I ever I ever got um, was the Winter Classic one. That one's very nice. Yeah, it was great, man. Just because there's got to be there, it, it, it's not the Flyers if you don't have the 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 something on the sleeves and the the orange yeah, predominantly. Right. I've always dug the orange as the predominant color of a sweater, and I just thought it, I just thought it looked good, you know, with with the black on the on the on the shoulders as opposed, you know, for a change. Have you are you familiar with the year that um, and this was before my lifetime as well. I believe it was eighty one or eighty two. Uh, the years where the Flyers wore the Cooper Alls, the long pants. Yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> that, is, that is horrible. And it, because I, I did a jersey video not long ago where I kind of ranked all my, my favorite jerseys. And yep. the pants are just terrible. And it's funny because Amadeo actually, his dad actually has a pair of the pants. Um, because I think they, they sold them around that time or whatever. Or something Maybe auction them off, whatever. Okay. Um, and he actually has... Like the like actual pair of the pants, and like he he sent me a picture of them one time, and they look like they're like they look like they're so thick, but they're not. Like, it's just so <laughs> weird because like no team would. I don't think I, I, now I don't know if this is true, but like has any other team like worn pants? Has it just been the Flyers? I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on this, but I am pretty sure that that was the only year it happened. And I think the Flyers were the only ones to do it. And I think the reason why they stopped doing it is because, you know, right, right. There were problems with, you know, the puck and shit like that. So I think that was the only year in team that it happened was when we did it in 81 or 82, whichever year it was. I think they had it from 80, they had it from 81 to 80, 83, 84, because they had different uh, styles of it. Like the one year they were just all black. And then the next year they had the orange and white stripe going down it, and then there was the Flyers logo on, on the side. Okay. Well. So th- that was kind of like the uh, the the difference in them. But then I think after that season in eighty four eighty five they went back to the socks because the NHL banned them. Gotcha. So not having that many uh, Flyers sweaters. It, mm. it, do you focus more on other types of gear? Like, are you are you hat guy, or do you have like? Oh, I'm, I'm a big hat guy. Yeah, like every I, honestly, like if there's like a, a a new version of like a hat that comes out, whether it's the logo, like a word mark, whatever, I'm like looking to see what price it is to get it. And honestly, like 
I have so many flyer sats, it's not even funny. <laughs> because I'm more of like I'm 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 like a hat like collectible guy. Like all that like like yeah like, like bobbleheads and stuff, like autographs, like that's the stuff I like. I like. I'm with you, man. I'm with you. The, the, the merch, there is nothing better than merch for your favorite team, man. And I, I, you've got the, you've got your setup. It's so dope with the, the it's painted flyers orange, and I love it. I've got my man cave painted eagles green. You know, it, it, I wanted to work. I've got a flyers wall in my man cave, but it clashes against the eagles green. But like I had to because it's you know the flyers, and I got a lot of shit. And it's funny because I'm I'm big hat guy too. But the problem is especially living down here in Virginia not living there anymore it's difficult basically the only the only hats that we've got access to is the shit that's up on fanatics which is not it, it, it they're not great you know typically yeah. like hockey hats that they have for sale up there or not it's not what you would have for like the NFL or the you know major league baseball and things of that nature so is is that where do you, I'm sure it's way easier to get a hat up there? I'm sure, of course, right? Where you yeah, got, yeah. you know. So honestly, like most of the stuff you can get in just like like any random store, like like I don't know if it's like I'm trying to think of a store like Kohl's or something, they might have like some like fire stuff in there, um, right? If it's like, uh, usually they have a bunch of those like sports stores around here. I can't really think of a name right now. Um, but but honestly, I mean, like they have obviously like Wells Fargo Center store. You can go in there at like any time. It's usually always open. Get stuff there. Right. Um, but I mean, most of the stuff it's so easy to get because it's it's all like because I'm not like far from the city where I live, so most of the stuff it's pretty easy to find if you're if you're gonna look for it. And then obviously like online and stuff too. But I mean, I, I mean, kind of just go off what you said, like fanatics. I cannot stand the fanatic stuff because yep. When I asked for the jersey, when, when I asked for the reverse retro jersey for Christmas. I said to my parents, I was like, if you're going to get it, uh, just please make sure that it is the Adidas one. Right. Because the Fanatics one is, like, completely different. Like, the fabric, the color. Yeah. Like, it's just, like, little details. And, like, if I'm getting this jersey, and it, and if it's only a one-year thing, I want to make sure it's the official one and it's from Adidas. Yep. So, I was, I just, like, like I, and I didn't, obviously didn't want to be an asshole about it. I was just like, if you do get it, like, just please if you can just try to make sure it's the adidas one right instead of fanatic because the the fanatic one's completely different at least that at least it looks different they're definitely different and i because i i own the fanatics one that i have is actually uh the 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 anniversary the 50th anniversary one because they came out and i was like ah, i did you know and i'm gonna get like i'm pumped to get a reverse retro i was not excited to waste my money on a 50th anniversary sweater but i felt obligated that i had to do it so i got a gostas bear and it's not they don't fit nearly as well as the authentics do they don't it's 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 just it feels like the numbers on that are sewn on are not it, they're not the actual thing it's kind of like made of paper you know what i mean like if you if yeah. you sit down and you're watching a game and you get up and you look at your back in the mirror you can you know the the number may or may not have a crease in it, <laughs> you know. So and you mentioned you mentioned kind of like memorabilia and merch and things like that and bobbleheads. I'm a big bobblehead guy as well. Like what when you go into you know Models or or wherever the case may be up there, there the Wells Fargo shop. What is like where are you going first? Like okay, I'm going in. Where's the first place you're going to look for something to to you know deck your space out? Probably the hat section first, to be honest. Okay. I mean, if, if I, like, I was there not long ago, um, and it was right before Christmas, a couple days before, uh, and I was there looking just, I was just, I was just looking around. I, I didn't end up buying anything, but um, all, they had all of the reverse retro stuff. So I was looking at all of that, oh. and they had jerseys, hoodies, shirts, hats, the beanies, all that stuff. Jealous. Um, and then I, right. like, mo most of the stuff is kind of hard because you, you, like, that stuff down there is obviously more expensive. Um, yeah. So you can like like bobbleheads, for example, they only have a handful and they're all gritty. Like none of them are the players. Or <laughs> so that's why it's it's kind of hard to, to to find like like more of the player stuff if you're looking memorabilia wise because they don't necessarily have it because they as weird as it sounds they they honestly promote gritty more than they do the, the players at times. Right. Um, but weird. <laughs> and it's so weird that I'm saying that. But it's very it's weird. True. It's um, gritty honestly, though. It's gritty. I feel like, like, I'm serious. Like, if you look up a gritty bobblehead, there's got to be, like, 50 or 60 different ones that are, like, holidays, <laughs> different, like, opening nights, like, whatever. Like There's a lot. Completely... 
They've got him on a wrecking ball, dude, on one bottle. Because I've looked this shit up before, and there's, 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 <laughs> you're right. You got options there. Yeah. I mean, there, I mean, I think there's one with him and the Fanatic. Like, there's just like a bunch of stuff. And, you know, like, I found one, like, they had one down there. Um, and it was one where, like, he's kind of like, sitting, like, I was just turned my head to look at it because it's on the back of my shelf. He's kind of like sitting, and there, and he like he's on like a big puck, and it's just like Philadelphia Flyers, and it's got like the boards and the glass. Okay. Down there, it was like I think it was like seventy bucks, sixty bucks, and I found it at a at like at like at one of those like sports stores. I think it was called Dynasty Sports. It was like twenty five bucks. So like you can find it at like different places that's cheaper, um, but usually like if I'm going like especially like at Apple Fargo, I'm mostly going for the hats first though. Right. Well, that's the way to go because it, it you know. I've been there before, you know, for games. I mean, again, not as much. I love the convenience. I'm jealous of the convenience of just, yeah. hey, you know what I'm going to do today? Let me go down to the arena. Like I, 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 I miss that part, man. I do. Like it, it. Yeah. I am, I am quasi living through you at this moment, bro. Because I would just love the idea of oh, I got cut loose from work early today. Oh man, let me let me go see what gritty merch they've got down <laughs> at Wells Fargo, dude. Um, it would cause problems, and my wife would be pissed that I'm spending a lot of money. But you know, hey, we can sort that out later. Um, so, in terms of one thing that's always kind of bothered me—I shouldn't say bothered me—about uh, our sweaters, as much as I love them, except for the 50th anniversary one. How do you feel about the nameplate? I love it, honestly. Do I, you? Like, I, I like it that much to where. My my thumbnails for YouTube, I actually have the the jersey font, so it's like the same nameplate and everything. Okay. Um, I've personally, I I don't mind it because like I I I like that's why I like the reverse retro so much because it's different. It's the orange nameplate now yep. instead of the whether it's white or if it's black. Um, you know, usually, I personally have I've always I never really had a problem with it. Um, I know there are some people that have. I mean, I, 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 no, I, I raises his hand problem. silently. Um, <laughs> I personally don't mind that. I, I, I've never really had a problem with it. To be honest with you, I it it doesn't. I'll put it to you this way: I've I've never lost sleep over it, and I own a fair amount of of flyer sweaters, so it doesn't. It doesn't deter me, and I don't want to break stuff looking at the TV whenever I'm watching a game. But I would just, I guess, it's maybe me just being a douchebag. I, if you give me an option. I'd rather have like the Legion of Dooms or the reverse retros where you don't kind of have that nameplate in the back. Justin, it seems like this bothers you, the nameplate. It bothers me a little. Well, uh, look, I'm looking at a Lindros jersey here. Yeah. And look how clean that looks. And it, they didn't start the doing blacks, the nameplate, but... yeah, until I want to say it was late 2000s, if I'm not mistaken. Because I know we had them in the cup year in 2010. I knew they were there then. Um yeah. It just looks cleaner when when it's all the same color, like this Giroux right really? here. It just looks cleaner. It, I I applaud them for stepping out and doing something different. And lo, like Corey said, I'll back you up here. Like it, I'm not gonna, especially since it's the Flyers anyway. I'm not losing sleep over this. But like yeah. I'm looking at all this stuff stuff here, and I'm drawn immediately to this reverse retro. I'm drawn to this Lindros right here. I'm drawn to this. 50th anniversary one for all the wrong reasons <laughs> <laughs> this brindamore i it just the flyers have some of the cleanest jerseys in the league and for me to see this nameplate and, and be like oh why would you do that to yourselves <laughs> but i'm also kind of a diva like that well yeah i think it's it's i've always looked at it and like i said it's never brought a visceral reaction out of me but i literally the question just came to me a, a, a few minutes before asking it to you because it's the thoughts crossed my mind before of, ah, oh, man, you know, this thing's there. I don't hate it. Like I said, I'm not laying up at night, you know, cursing that nameplate in bed, but you know, I, I had to ask, I had to ask, man. Yeah. I want to follow up. No, no, and, and honestly, I feel like, I feel like most of it is, I feel like at times there are a lot of people that have criticized it. I never honestly noticed it that much to where it's like, Oh my God, like that's annoying, you know? <laughs> right. So I want to follow up with you being hat guy. So I brought up um, Philadelphia Flyers hats just to see what kind of... I've never looked... At, strangely enough, I've never looked into hockey hat. Yeah. There's a lot of options here. And you said you've got a ton of hats. So I'm wondering, 
like how down how far down the rabbit hole do you go like are you usually going like just a a team color like orange black or white or or i see a camouflage here one uh one here like have you gone way down that rabbit hole or are you just getting just something clean i i honestly i like the ones that are clean but weird like i like the ones that like like honestly i i personally think the ones that are just like if it's a, like say it's a, like got like an orange brim like a, a black base with the logo like that's just boring to me so mm-hmm. like i have an all black one that has the logo on the side um and then it has the adidas logo on like on both sides of your head and then it has flyers like right now in cursive like that i think is cool okay um i honestly like if you look at it now if you look it up it should come up the like just the new reverse retro hat i like that um and i know there's there's two different ones there's one with the white in the middle and then there's one with, like the it has like the, the weird brim um honestly i feel like most of them i like i i've never been a guy that's like to you know like trying to figure out how to explain this i just like the ones that are like weird like they right. have like like a bunch of different of like writing you know letters whatever and if it's just like a different color scheme like i've always kind of liked the flyers hats that have the green brim on the bottom i think those are cool and i think a lot of that kind of stands out because they have like weird colors and stuff right um i've always liked ones that have different colors like in the logo like if the logo is like all black or if it's like an all white or all gray whatever i just i like those um i've always liked looking at, at the old ones where they have like ones from the 90s where it's got the old nhl logo and things like that yeah but overall i mean i'm, I'm kind of like in just like all like of the old stuff is what i like to be honest i've never really like I, like i personally don't really like the the like if you look it up on the adidas website it has like like the new baseball cap ones where it's got like the adidas logo on, on the side i don't i just don't like those at all to be honest I think this is the one he's talking about. Right I'll have here. to, yeah, I'll have to check him out because I'm actually, I'm in the, I, I need to get, I bitched to Justin about this regularly. <laughs> I had one Flyers hat that I loved, and I, 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 I work in a warehouse, so hats are allowed where I work. So, and I'm hat guy as well, but I've got a a good amount that I I keep at home that I don't wear to work because I don't want to fuck them up, and I I ended up breaking out the flyers hat that i had during um it was a couple seasons ago uh you know in the middle of the playoffs i was like all right i'm gonna break it out and i just i ended up you can only wash it but so much before the summer funk and everything else becomes like permanently embedded in it so it's i had to i had to junk it unfortunately do you go do you go adjustable or do you go like fitted oh yeah this is important. Fitted. Oh, I'm, I'm like snap. I'm snapback adjustable. Really? Interesting. Okay. Really? See, I've got. I got a big I, ass head, man. So I, I need. Yeah. I need that fitted, bro. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I I've always been the guy that's like I kind of like the snapbacks. Like that's always been my thing. Um, I actually just sent you a picture of the hat I was talking about. That the fitted one was the one I was talking, like the Adidas one. Yeah, um, I'm pulling it up right now. Those are the ones that like, I don't like because it's so tight on my head. Mm. And I have like a pretty thick head of hair right now, so I'm, I've I've always like the like just like the snapback ones because they're like they're just more comfortable. Yeah. Um, but overall, I've always been kind of like a snapback guy. See, the snapback for me, it has to be precise. Like I have to love the hat, and that's the <laughs> problem. Is every time I look at a snapback, it's always like like one of those old school. 80s or, or 90s caps that's the mall just, ones yeah and they, they just like big block letters it's like ah, i don't want that i think i would be more acceptable to it because like you said you don't want i've got a few that you don't want a hat to be if a hat's too tight it defeats the purpose because mm-hmm. you're not going to be comfortable that's why i've always gone fitted because i have a massive fucking dome <laughs> so it and you know i've, I've got a lot of hair too for a dude so it, it allows if i go fitted it allows a lot of room for that but i also like i went to break out my regular phillies fitted a couple days ago and apparently my head grew because <laughs> it, it that was a seven and five eighths and i've been buying seven and three quarters for a while and i went to put on the seven and five eighths just a standard the regular phillies cap the red one with the the p and, the middle, yeah. yeah not the throwback and i was just like Okay, it's time for another one of these because this is not working. I just gave it to my kid. I was like, here you go, dude. You'll have be able to wear it in five years. Yeah, have a hat on me. <laughs> I wish I could. Well, I guess I could share it, but I like this one a lot. There's one. It's another Adidas cap. 
It's two toned. It's got like the black in the back. It's got the white in the front, and then it's got flyers in the middle with a different looking font than I don't think I've ever seen from them. This would be a lot easier if I was sharing the image. <laughs> <laughs> if we could get it in the Discord. Let me So where are you at with the Flyers font while we're doing that? Because they just changed their font like two years ago. Do you from like the 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 blockish kind of outline that it was for a while and uh now it's orange and kind of like split up and razory, if that makes sense. Are you are you a fan of the font or would you rather have the old style font instead? Honestly, I be honest with you, I never really noticed it that much. Um, I okay. kind of just like, you know, honestly, like if I if I were to were to you know, if I were to like bitch about something like that, it would probably take me a while to like get like tired of it. I right. think overall, I feel right now I I honestly didn't notice that much of a change. Um, I personally like the font now. I I don't really think there's a uh, much of a problem with it, but I I, I wouldn't be uh too opposed to them maybe going away from the from the block setup and maybe trying to look at you know what it would be but i feel like there's so many people that are used to the block letters to where they would hate it if they went back to, to the old style yeah i see I'm, I'm with you i prefer this this newer style if, if for no other reason when i think flyers i think orange and that's what that's the color utilized in this new primary font so i'm 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 all in favor of it man the more orange you can give me the happier i am uh if you were to go, there's a, we just pulled up a hat that, that is like a bucket hat that's got Philly and like neon green and flyers. It look, This looks like somebody put this hat together on like a computer. They're selling this hat for 50 bucks. Canadian. That is just egregious. Whoever, if somebody buys this, they need to be shot. I'll pass. It's, yeah, it's offensive, dude. If you were to go favorite, least favorite player of all time, where do you go? The Flyers? Yeah. Okay. Uh, my personal favorite all time is Vorjack. Um, I've always liked Jake. That's why I have ninety three at the end of my my YouTube name. Okay. Um, it's it's my it's been my hockey number my whole life. Um, ever since I was a kid, he was the guy that was like you know, the guy that got attracted me the most. Um, not in that way. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I've I've always looked at him as like a guy where. He's he's I feel like he's been a leader since he came here. Um, when I was just starting to become a fan was when he had his 81 point season in 1450, and I had the partial mm-hmm. season ticket plan that year, so I went to a lot of games. Um, and he was I think second in the heart race that year. Um, he was absolutely insane. Um, I feel like he's just been one of those guys. He's been here so long. It you know I feel like just the style of his play is something that is relatable to the way I play hockey. To be honest. Um, and he's just a guy I've always liked. As for least favorite, I really don't have like a a least favorite player. I mean, like there's a lot of guys I didn't like here. Um, I mean, I could I could go through like a whole list of guys I didn't like here. <laughs> um, I feel like if I were to, you know, you know, j- just sit here and, and pick on one guy, um, I, I I really don't know because I think there's a lot. One guy I never really cared for was Matt Reed. Um, I, just, I don't know <laughs> yes. why. I just did not really like Reed. Um, just the way that he plays at that. I mean, there's just things that, and it's funny because now I think a lot of people listening to this would probably say right now they'd have to say JVR, which hurts me to say because like, very very JVR. streaky. I, yeah, JVR, very I streaky. Like he really could turn around with this team this year, but um, I feel like there's a lot of people now that would say JVR. But honestly, Reed was one of them guys I didn't really mind. I mean, obviously McDonald, Gudis wasn't. Gudis was a guy I didn't mind, but yeah, I mean, I felt like there were so many things wrong with those guys, and it wasn't just them. It was the, obviously the coaching and all that stuff that kind of put right. them in bad positions too. So, I mean, honestly, if if I had to go one guy, probably Reed was a guy I never I never really cared for to be honest. So, out of curiosity, Corey has has the teams that that he despises that he doesn't want to want to see uh, the Flyers match up against. Being somebody who came in. You know, at this point, what eight years ago? I think you said twenty twelve. Mm-hmm. Was is there are there any teams that you're naturally drawn uh, to hating, or you know, as not a natural Flyers enemy? I guess is the question I'm trying to ask. Uh, yeah, no, I, 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 I'm, I'm really, I'm picking up what you're saying. Uh, the Islanders is a team I cannot stand. <laughs> it's not, it's not because of this past playoff series. It's 
the first ever game I went to was March 28th, 2013. They played the Islanders, and they had a 2 nothing lead, the Flyers did, and they blew it in a shootout. And ever since then, I have never liked the Islanders, never cared for them, never you know cheered for them in a playoff series. If they played Pittsburgh, I wanted Pittsburgh to win. Wow. Like, wow. <laughs> about the Islanders that much. And I just never – like the Islanders, never. I, I, I honestly never will because they ruined that one moment for me when I was a kid. Yeah. Where that's the game that I would take back any Flyers game in my life that I've ever been to, and I would say if they won that first game I ever went to, that that would that, that would be like the the grand thing of my childhood. Would be that because that's what I remember the most. Like right. Like like when I got into hockey, I was still a kid. Like that's what I grew up on, and I still I still you know I'm still young today, so. The Flyers were my childhood. They still, you know, and they obviously they still are today. So, honestly, I mean, it's just a team that I just cannot stand, and I, I never will like them. And obviously, the past uh, playoff series did not help that theory at all. But, um, yeah, I mean, the Islanders are a team I can. I, I hate them probably just as much as Pittsburgh, to be honest. Wow. <laughs> Considering like how long I'm 40 years old in this motherfucker, uh, <laughs> like how long the Islanders were like a, a have been a joke in my lifetime. That it was. That's a bomb, man. Like, I love hearing that, and I love the reason yeah. behind it. Yeah, you never forget your first game. Them. Yeah. You never yeah, forget your first, it, man. It's a game where I remember, like, everything about – obviously, I said the date, you know what I mean? Like, I remember everything about that night, and I was so pissed that they lost that game. And and, and it wasn't even because, like – all right, I, I'll say this. The Flyers didn't play good that game at all. Yeah. <laughs> Like they, that was a theme and, and back yeah, then, man. Year, yeah, so yeah. It, it, it's understandable. Um, they were just an all-around bad team. And, like, freaking Brzezkov sucked that night. Oh, my God. <laughs> he, 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 I think, like, they had a 2 nothing lead, and then after the first period, it might have been, like, 2-1 at some point. They gave up, like, the, like they ended up giving up the, the that 3-2 goal. Like, I think it was, like, four and a half minutes left in the third or something like that. And it was just like, oh, my God. We ended up tying it with like 20 seconds left. They went to a shootout, and Drew ended up scoring, and then Brzezgov gave up two straight shootout goals. They ended up losing, and it was just so aggravating because they probably should have won the game. And then it was funny because they won, like, and, and this game was on a Saturday night. So they won the Thursday, they lost the Saturday, and they won three straight games after that. So out of the, <laughs> the, 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 literally the fucking – Five games I could have went to. Right. I went to the one that they lost and the other four <laughs> they won. So that's just my luck, and that's another reason why I can't stand them. I, I love it, man. It is funny because you actually – so you went – my very first Flyers game I ever went to was March 2nd of 2013. We played Boston uh, at Wells Fargo. It was Fan Appreciation Day, I believe. Um, and I, I caught a t-shirt from Eric Gustafson, not, not the, uh, not the one we just yeah. signed, but the old Eric mm-hmm. Gustafson, uh, it, it, the, I, other, the other Swede. Right, right. Exactly. Uh, and it, 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 you never forget it, man. It's funny because I've been to in my lifetime, uh, 32 years, which is not the amount of games I'd like to have been to, but I've been to, uh, I've been to two Eagles games and I've been to three Flyers games and, uh, the birds are zero and two in games I've been at live, but the Flyers are three and zero. So, I uh, yeah. I just need to get my fat ass to more Flyers games, basically. <laughs> Whenever the nineteen gets the hell out of our lives, um, but no, I love the story, man. Where uh, where are you at with uh, with the Devils, man? Because I <laughs> I Justin and I go back and forth. I don't I don't hate the Devils, even though I get PTSD from twenty years ago because they were like. They just they they were the antichrist for us, and I was an Eric Lindros guy growing up. So yeah. when he came across the middle, you know, center ice with his head down like he did, and Scott Stevens laid his ass yeah, out. Number four, I, <laughs> dude, twelve year old me was fucking hot. <laughs> so I still like I don't hate the Devils because I love their gear and yada yada, but I, there's still a little bit in the back of my mind that's like, man, fuck them. Where are you at with the Devils? I listen, like I've never been like a. a like a passionate devils hater like i don't i don't like the devils but i don't like hate the devils like i i could care less about them yeah um, i'm you know it i feel like overall I, I feel like now it's so satisfying to see that they stink because of how i mean they were literally like the achilles heel for them yeah and, and that's like going into like the you know i think like honestly i think like 2012 that's a year that they the flyers could have honestly beat them but they were just so good that year yep um 
2010, they obviously beat them in five in, in, in that upset. and or in, Yeah, in five in the upset, excuse me. Mm-hmm. Um, and, like, I mean, that was it. I mean, there was just so many games where, like, I mean, like, honestly, like, if you think about it, like, this past year, he blanked them five nothing at home. I was like, yeah. are you kidding me? <laughs> like, it's just so aggravating because it's like, all right, now this is a game where at the time you were playing good. I'm like, all right, this is this is a gimme game. This is two points. Yep. Let's, come on, let's, let's finish up the other part. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, in that game, I think they scored like 11 seconds into it, and I was like, wow. Yeah. Um, but again, I mean, honestly, I've never – I've never been a huge uh, Devils hater. I mean, I, again, I don't like the Devils, but I've never been a guy that's like completely like against them or, or for them, I should say. It's funny because all three of us have this because much like Corey, only like I was on the opposite end of it. Like I, I hated the Flyers just because they were all always in our way. We were mm. winning, but they were always in the way. Yeah, and so it's like, oh god, I hate them. And then you guys started to stink and then we started to stink like early two thousands. And then it's just like, well, you know, any wins a win. Right. And so like all that hatred's kind of dissipated. Like I'm, I've because, spent, because there was a time where both teams were just not good. Yeah. yeah. And it was for a good long yeah. time. He sure. And Patrick happened in the one, two in the draft a couple years ago, you know? Yeah. And like, even, even now, I, I feel like the squad is rebounding. Like, you know, maybe we'll be okay this season, but Crawford not, will help. Crawford will help. We're not going to be contenders. <laughs> I mean, no, I mean, I think out of out of the out of all the teams, I think the Devils are the one that will make the playoffs. I think Buffalo can honestly make the playoffs if they if they continue to play good. Yeah, but it, there was a time in my life we, I've been looking at Flyers sweaters here for forty six minutes, <laughs> and if you would have told me younger me, twenty year old me, hey man, go stare at uh, Flyers sweaters for twenty, you know, for forty minutes. Nah, man, that w- that yeah, was not gonna to happen. Hell. Yeah, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> How about that? Right <laughs> here, I am, and I—I I mean, not only am I digging it, like I—I I have a great appreciation for the squad. I have a great greater appreciation for for their gear. Yeah, it's and that's that's part of it. For I've always, even though, like, okay, you guys were in the way a lot in my childhood. It was always like, man, those sweaters though. And I, I, bro, door was just awesome. So we're all three before before we close up shop. We're all three in the same fantasy hockey league. <laughs> so like, do we want to f- have my money? Do we want to fling poop at each other for a minute or two? Because <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. uh, I I am I am beyond. I, honestly, it's weird because I haven't even really looked at. I I fucked up when I made the draft uh, as early as it was. Whoever so whoever drafted Kucherov's already lost him for the year. Oh man! So and he yeah. would he went. I think I can't remember who picked second. I think it was Taylor, and uh, I think that's who she took was Kucherov. And I saw like okay, he's out for the year. So I was like, oh man, that sucks. <laughs> Maybe I should have done the draft a little bit later, but. I don't like how's everybody feel about their squads. Me personally, I can't remember who all I took offhand. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm looking at mine right now. I, I feel like I have a pretty underrated squad. I have a lot of good defensive players overall, though. You took two of them that I was looking at, bro. And at like, there were times in the and I, this is just part of the animal. Like, I know I took. Uh, yeah, you took two of my. You guys. were saying, yeah, Mike was pissed off at me, but there was specifically Thomas Shabbat. Uh, I've always liked him because I wore when I played football. I wore number seventy-two, and uh, it, it's not a common number in hockey. So I've always kind of dug him because he wore, you know, he wears my number. You you nabbed him, and uh, uh, I want to say Slavin for Carolina. Yeah, yeah and I took, do you want me to read through the whole team? Yeah, go ahead, bro. I took uh, all right. I got for my centers. I got uh, Eichel Couturier. Two left wingers are Hall, Taylor Hall, uh, and David Perron. Right wingers are Mark Stone, Travis Konechny. Defense is Provorov, Seth Jones, Mikhail Sergeyev, Thomas Shabbat. My bench is uh, Anze Kopitar, Jacob Slavin, Nikolai Ehlers, uh, Anthony Sorelli, Andre Palat, Brian Rust. And then my two goalies are Carey Price and Brayden Holby. So you got Slavin on the bench, man. Yeah. Maybe we Slavin could work. Slavin on the bench, yeah. And Maybe we could I mean, work out a deal. pretty, like. And I feel like most of them are all like solid defensive guys. Like Slavin's a very good defensive. Well, I shouldn't say defensive defenseman, but he's very good. He numbers. Yeah. Um, Russ is a good player. He scored. I think, I think Russ had like almost 30 goals last year. Um, Sorelli is like literally was up there this year as like one of the handful of guys to win the Selkie, like completely past Coots. Yeah. Um, obviously, as I said, Eichel, Stone, 
Um, Konecki's gotten better defensively. So I feel like a lot of the guys I have are just like elite defensive guys. So I might struggle in the goal scoring department, but but I think defensively I'll be right. I'll be right there with most guys. You got a squad, man, and there's a reason there. It's it's a ten category league, so even if you give up a little bit in the goal department, you can still make it up elsewhere. You yeah, know what I mean? Exactly. So it's 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 I'm I'm pumped for the season. I, I I cannot I cannot wait. I love the fantasy hockey's back in my life. Justin's got his team pulled up. I need to go look at mine really quick. <laughs> I'm looking at mine, and so this basically I'm using fantasy hockey this year to try to get back into hockey because I've. I've long since lapsed as a sports fan just in general, like as far as knowing players, like I've kind of followed all my teams just from afar. So like this year, I I couldn't tell you any of these players, really. I was just kind of looking at the numbers and there's some good stuff here, man. I also know that I had to draft way more Rangers than I'm happy about. (laughs) (laughs) That is definitely one of those teams that I, I can't stand. I had a problem I got one defender early on. I think it was, yeah, Carlson from Washington. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. And then, like, every time I'd have a defender up near the top of my board, somebody would snag him. I'm like, oh, my God. And then, <laughs> so my defense is probably going to stink. Uh, I did get two devs. Um, it looks like uh, Heashear is day-to-day. Apparently, I guess that's what D to D means. Yeah, yeah. Well, some of that isn't right though. Like it's weird because they have Eichel on there as day to day, and he's not. He was never injured. Yeah, so Yahoo's I have them, like, be a glitch. Yahoo's not the best with their injury when shit. I Couturier, and they had him as day to day. Yeah. Like, well, so that I guess it might just be a glitch. Well, I mean, he's on my bench anyway. I waited. Yeah, right. I waited till I got to my bench to draft any Devils because. <laughs> <laughs> again not knowing what's going on. well and i mean that's the first time they appeared is yeah. we had gone through like eight rounds before like i even saw a devil i think yeah <laughs> gusev was probably the first one him or, well paul mary as well probably yeah i snagged him because i thought yeah i feel like yeah. paul mary was usually those guys were the ones that, that kind of go early for new jersey i feel like he was good value yeah not only just because he's a dev but well and you want to have you want to have somebody from your team too because it makes it you at least got to have one homer pick like yeah. i'm looking at mine and i've got uh i got Giroux and i got kevin hayes on my bench kevin hayes was just like a late round okay let me grab him i think he's you know that's that's my dude i love him but i i had to, i took Giroux earlier than i was planning on because there was literally like no no flyers left you know because chris chris loaded up uh, I, I think took Coots connecting in pro bro, and I took two flyers back to back. So I was like, once I could, once I took connect me, I was like, I got to take pro Rob now because he's going to get taken soon. Right, right. No, and he would. And, and, and Taylor's a Flyers fan as well. There's another Flyers fan. It's a very Flyers heavy uh, league fandom wise. So I like I, I knew going in like okay, I'm not walking away with with everybody I want, but I I had to take uh, I had to get Giroud just because I I wanted a flyer on the squad for obvious reasons. So I'm uh I'm pumped for it. We're shit. We're we're about at hockey season, yeah. fellas. So two things though from the draft that that have not made it to air anywhere. And this is why we have to talk about it. There's three of us here. Number one, one of the funniest things happened by accident. <laughs> Thomas goes, leave Towdy that to- I want that toothless fuck. <laughs> and it I was up. <laughs> yep. And I was I was telling you all about like uh, Jay Giles Band's records in the chat, and suddenly I auto draft Dowdy, and Thomas's immediate reaction: "Fuck!" Fuck. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. I screen grabbed that because it made me laugh so much. Oops, sorry. Uh, and then, of course, uh, Technotronic has three albums. <laughs> Just so everybody knows yeah. that Justin doesn't take things too seriously, <laughs> right? Well, you can't. It's you got to take it, but it's at the end of the day, it's supposed to be fun. Yeah, you know, I fucked up by not letting everybody know that snake drafts happen. Yeah, so Joe was a little bent out of shape. Yeah, you know, but I, I should have. It's like I said in the in the thing. I should have. If you're not used to fantasy, it'll fuck you up. Like, because I remember the first time I did fantasy football years ago, back in 2013, I was like wait it goes from one to 12 and then 12 to one what the fuck is this yeah 
but but I mean, you know, but it evens out. Yeah, it definitely does because it's because, not because I, I'm in two leagues, um, and my other team is pretty good too. Like I had the second pick in this one, so I have some like higher players. Yeah, but like most of it is like it's weird because I feel like a lot of guys I got I shouldn't have gotten if if I didn't have that that pick. Right. So I feel like my team is kind of stacked, and like and it's kind of the same thing with the first with the guy with the first pick too. Like his team is just as good as mine because he had the first pick. And, like, it, it would end where, like, I'd have a pick. I don't think I'd have another one for about 10. And then I'd have one. go. It would go two more picks, and then I'd go again. So I pretty, essentially had, like, a back-to-back pick. So yeah. I would just keep, like, flicking through the guys that I wanted. And I was like, all right, take him, take him. And then I would just kind of wait a little bit, and I'd right, get this guy. And then I, I'd kind of just, like, have my eyes set on, on, like, a few other guys as well. And that's exactly – you nailed it, man, because that's what – I draft in, in another league I'm in tomorrow night – and uh, I, when it, the worst part about picking too far at the end of one round, like I think in this one I picked third, and it was really nice when you like okay you get picked twice in six picks, mm-hmm. but then you're just kind of hanging out watching a bunch of dudes get picked for like twelve picks in a row or fourteen or however many it is. I suck at math, but you're like <laughs> guys are just going left and right, mm-hmm. and you can't like yeah. you're handcuffed. You can't do anything. And yep. Literally, you're just sitting there. And you're like. Fuck, I wanted that guy. <laughs> right. And then he's just like gone. You can't do nothing about it. Yeah, you yeah. can't do a damn thing because you're just sitting there and that's the way the cookie crumbles, man. So it, I was lucky because I was right in the middle. <laughs> that's honestly that's probably the best spot to be. Number five. I mean, if in, I would kn- if I knew anything about hockey, it probably would have been. <laughs> but the name is uh the name of the team is the dumpster fire, so <laughs> This will, I think this will help you get back in, man. Yeah, I think and it will. to me, that's what it, that's what's important about it. Yeah, I, I will likely lose unless, like, I just magically picked guys who just go out and kill. But uh, Pedersen's yeah. awesome. As long as I just watch hockey this right. season, that's it's a win. That's what I'm looking at. So it's a win. Yeah, Corey, I think I, I think I actually play you the first uh, first game. Do we okay? See, this is the first time I'm a. I haven't really pulled it up and looked since the draft. So you have McKinnon, and you have McKinnon, right? Yep, yep. I took because I was debate. Yeah. I was debating between him and Drysital, but I ended up going McKinnon. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I was looking at your team now. It's pretty solid. It, yeah, I'm, yeah. pretty good. I'm, 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 I'm waiting for it, man. I, I can't wait to get going. I enjoy fantasy hockey about as much as I enjoy fantasy football. In all honesty, I probably enjoy it. More because I don't like – I'm not losing sleep over this. Like, I just enjoy it. It's fun to me. Fantasy football can get really, really dark for you, boy. Really, really dark. Like, I got – I may or may not have gotten weird and threatened to, like, bounce out of a league because I lost in the semifinals this year in a group chat. Whoa. Like, your boy was really, really emo, you know? And then I woke up the next day to a text like, hey, how many did you have last night? A few. Too many. <laughs> Enough to act like an ass in the group chat, apparently. <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> so if I ever just start firing off obscenities at one in the morning in the hockey group chat, you guys know I've just started like pounding car bombs aggressively. Uh, so And one other thing, I because we should probably start rapping here. It's almost been an hour. <laughs> um <laughs> the uh so we're we're doing we're doing the show in the Discord and something I think would be fun. I just bought 2k 21 for, yeah. uh for my playstation i was thinking it might be fun to do in the discord a sim league i'm in if you guys are i've got a six seattle kraken franchise going on nhl 21 that i'm obsessed with yeah that i was telling you about before we started grease pole tonight i'm about 60 i traded for tk as well and he leads my team in goals mm-hmm. i just i just crossed 30 goals with him uh saturday night when i was goofing off so i'm super giddy my guys in the top 10 in goals in my league. I think it would be fun to just kind of, you know, let maybe do a fantasy draft yeah, and then let the computer play it out. Hell see, yeah. See what happens. So you're more than welcome, Chris. But uh, thank you so much for your time tonight, man. Uh, did you want to oh, yeah, Did you want to get uh, a plug in for the pod? Yeah, sure. Uh, so podcast, uh, it's a flyer up podcast. It's on Spotify, Apple. Um, if you want to find it, the link is, uh, it's in the link tree on my Instagram. It's also on my YouTube. So you can check it out there. Um, and you, you should just come right up and you can watch it on, uh, either if it's Apple or Spotify, I think most people listen to it on that, but if you listen on anything else, it should be uh, on there as well. Awesome. Awesome. Well, you guys do a hell of a job with it, Chris, man. Keep up the good work and everything. And, uh, we, uh, we will definitely be talking soon, brother. We appreciate it. 
Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Have a good one, man. Thanks, you too, guys. It was awesome covering one of your teams for a change. Getting I didn't even of... <laughs> didn't even realize we went an hour, man. Yeah, well, and I never do again. But... Like, uh, uh, you know, the Mets one. Like, I I'm kind of in the driver's seat, and Mike, yeah. you know, I know Mike, so like, it was yeah. nice to be over in the co-pilot seat. Right, right. No, it was, and and it it was it was cool to be able to talk. I'm really, you know, we've been t- the last probably the last month. I know I've been like emo as hell over the birds, and I've been like, man, I just want hockey back, man. And you're almost there. Matter of fact, yeah. by the time this releases, we'll be we'll, there. We'll be there. Yes, we'll be there. And hopefully, it's not a not a shit start for the squad. Yeah, yours hoping. We open we open with a home and home against Pittsburgh. Oof. So what a way to open the year. You go two and zero, oh and you're feeling mighty high. Yeah. Well, do, I'll say this, like, and I don't want to like get bogged down too much because I know we got to wrap, but. NHL marketing stuff. I know Wednesdays like hockey night in America. Mm-hmm. Air quotes. Please don't start the season on a Wednesday. Yeah. Please don't. Please start it on a Saturday. Yeah. That that would be ideal. That or a Friday night. Like when I saw the schedule, it was like January thirteenth, and I'm like, it's probably a Wednesday. Let me go look, and I saw it. Oh no, man. Like, I so I've got to go the sick day route if I want to. I look if having. Having Wednesday be hockey night in America, which is it even really like, or is Dude, that just the day that you. they chose? It's the day that if you have like, if you're one of the probably not a whole lot of majority people in the country that have NBC sports, it means you can watch hockey if you happen to be on that channel, but it's not even on pro- NBC proper. They probably have like Chicago fire on there or whatever the fuck, whatever's going on in Chicago that has to be all over TV. What's one going night of the on, week. On, a, on Fridays? I mean, I, I, I know SmackDown is now on over the air, like it's on Fox now. So right. like that that'll be pretty big competition. But why not Friday? <laughs> I mean, I, I I should Saturday. I get it. I guess because you are going up against the NFL playoffs, especially mm-hmm. now with the nineteen in our lives delaying the start. Like we should already be in hockey season right now. We should well have been it, in yeah. it right, but with it just starting up on the thirteenth. That's that's the that's the divisional round of the playoffs. Like, I get it, understood. Mm-hmm. But but Wednesday, like you said, they're still like they're still they're still Friday. Yeah, they're still Friday. There is not nobody nobody has claimed laid claim to Fridays. Why in the middle of the week? Make it easier for people, you know. To you need you need okay you need all the you, help you can Corey, get. Corey is gonna <laughs> Corey is gonna find hockey. Oh, I'm there because you're right. a big hockey. I'm going to try to find hockey because I'm last hockey fan. Right. So a Wednesday might work for me. Yeah. But Joe Schmo, <clears throat> who lives down the road, right, is not popping hockey on on Wednesday. Flipping through his TV, sitting on the couch. Right. Ain't nothing <laughs> on on Fridays. <laughs> Again, I, I, watch, I watch wrestling, but there's a lot... Of other people who would probably watch hockey if it was on over the air. And when we're in the middle of a pandemic still, all these months later, you're not vying for, okay, it's it's a Friday night, everybody's going out, everybody's going to the bar, things like that. Like, every people are in. They're not going, at least the smart people among us. Yes. You know what I mean? <sighs> So come it, on, hockey. It, be better, NHL. Let us help you. Be be way better. Because you can't be much worse. And don't be the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Right. Because they stink. <laughs> oh man, who was it that we that we were destroying last week? It was Oh God. It was somebody else with gold. Oh no. It was somebody else with gold. What did we do last week? I don't remember. Oh, uh XFL. Uh huh. Uh, was it the extreme? Because they were pretty awful. But L A. It was, but I don't think they were gold. Where did the gold come in? Because there was a tie of gold to from to Winnipeg. Yeah. And I remember because we were like, well, Winnipeg has more gold, I think, than whatever. Which leads me to believe it may have been the Outlaws. Oh yeah. But I don't think they were that egregious. Right. Outlaws were. That was a good uniform. No, it was. I can't. This is going to bother me now. Well, we'll just we'll have to listen to the show last week. Right. <laughs> Time don't, machines. Don't 
<laughs> you listener, don't worry about that. Right. We're just thinking out loud. Yeah. Don't don't get confused with us. So I mean, again, it was it was nice to talk flyers and it Hell yeah. We met not sweater guy. I know, man. I know, which is weird because the, well, I, there's his reasoning solid. They yeah, are expensive. The, God damn they are. Um you know, unless you're unless you got the we could get him in on the hookup. You know, we know a guy. <laughs> we do know a dude, which you could also get in with us if you were in the Discord with mm-hmm. us. Uh, you know, we're willing to extend the olive branch, but they're definitely not cheap, man. I used to buy my one. I still do this every year because I'm a child. Uh, <laughs> I I buy one new Eagles jersey a year, and it's usually right before the season starts. Right. I always get one new one. Uh, I'm that's does not cause any arguments in the house because it's like, okay, that's established as a thing and has been and was and always will be. But I get, I get the financial thing. I do hats are way fucking cheaper. Oh yeah. Yeah. Way way cheaper. You can buy one of those on a whim. Several times. It's not going to put you out in the house. Right. Right. You know, so it buy one sweater at regular price. Yeah. (laughs) Right. Okay. I, I need, depending on, you know, the it, one thing I can get this year. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> right, right. I might take a little bit to recover from this. You know, but but yeah, man. I it it's not for everybody, man. I I I just I've always I've always been that way. So it's it's hard to and I'm hat guy too. So it it, it it's hard for me not to to put myself in somebody else's shoes. Mm-hmm. But at the same time like you can wear you a team t-shirt Yep. Or you can wear you a, a, a whatever the fuck. It's like it doesn't have to be a jersey. It's just that is, it's you the, know, that's the go to. Hockey sweaters are far and away the best. I think, yeah, yeah, hundred percent. If you're going jersey, hockey's the one to go. Uh, we've done it. We've talked about the Philadelphia Flyers. Yeah, it felt good. And uh, hey, man, we're a pod. So that means we're in pod places. Yes. So if you're listening to this, rate, comment, boom, share. All of it. Uh, I would say that the absolute best way for you to help us is to tell a friend, hey, I listen to the Gear Freaks and Check it I out. like it. You should listen to it. Boom. If you're a sports fan, this is a, this is a guaranteed like. Yes. Yeah, you dude. You will absolutely like this show. Yeah. You may not like Corey and I, but you will like right, this show. Right, right. That's possible. But you'll like the concert. It's gotten so bad where, like, now, uh, like, the brother-in-law and, like, Rob, like, we got a group chat. The three, Like, gear talk happens now regularly. <laughs> and it's gonna. Like, oh, I love the, like, when Georgia wore the blacks in the Peach Bowl mm-hmm. the other day. Like, my brother-in-law and I were going back about them. And I'm like, yeah, no, they're great. It just needs a red outline around the numbers. It, to be, you know, perfect. Like that. You're you're a ten now. You're a ten there. Yeah. Now you're about an eight and eight. Mm-hmm. But Which is great. Still good. Still but, still wife material. But come on. <laughs> but that I'm not that, asking much. Yeah. That just fills everything out a little bit more. Yeah. You know. You're not the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Right. Oh dig. <laughs> suck it, Winnipeg. You're not also not the Los Angeles Extreme. <laughs> oh, <laughs> suck it. God. God, they were so bad. Uh, but you know who isn't the Philadelphia Flyers. Suckers! Suckers!